you have some time to talk now, Commander? Of course. Have a seat. We've played it pretty close to the book so far, but we're a long way from backup. We've got some tough calls to make. I'm just saying, try to leave yourself a way out. I've seen what cutting corners can do, and I'd hate to have that happen to you, Shepard. Commander. That's not the appropriate way to address your commanding officer, Lieutenant. I wasn't speaking to you as my commanding officer, ma'am. I, I don't want to send any bad signals. Just, uh, working on what I've picked up. You tell me if I'm going too far. I'd love to, but I haven't the faintest idea what you're talking about. It's just my experience that once someone lets something slide, it tends to pick up speed. Do you get my meaning? Talk to me, Caden. You got a little black rain cloud sitting over your head. I'll try to keep the deck dry. You know the records about the biotic training out on Jump Zero? They're all classified. Because the Alliance made mistakes. After first contact, Kinetics was set up to track Element Zero exposures and develop implants for humans. Once we had an embassy on the Citadel, Kinetics could bring in experts instead of taking it slow. The only experts would have to be aliens. Dead on. Turians, actually. That's why Kinetics kept it a secret. They were afraid of what people back home would think, asking the Turians for help when we just fought a war with them. And the Asari would have been more acceptable than the Turians. Yes, but the company didn't go through the Citadel. It would have made Earth look weak, so they discreetly hired some Turian mercenaries. Is there some reason we couldn't learn it on our own? They didn't know where to start. Hell, it took a couple of years to even link Biotics and Ezo. Forget trying to get the kids to move stuff. They had trouble just helping them not break their own limbs. And their choice of teachers didn't help much. Get your knuckles wrapped a few times, Lieutenant? Yeah, you could say that. Our instructor was a Turian by the name of Commander Vernus. To introduce himself, he liked to say, I was at the helm of the Dreadnought that killed your father. When I told him my dad wasn't in the war, he'd retired to Vancouver. My family had an inland home that matured to New Beachfront. Vernus had it in for me after that. He cut corners, pushed hard. I mean, you either came out a Superman or a wreck. A lot of kids snapped. A few died. The point of all this, I guess, is that when you cut corners, it's not always obvious who pays for it. So why are you telling me this? Is there something I can do to help you get over it? I'm 32, Shepard. You don't serve as long as I have without coming to terms with yourself. You also learn that if someone is special to you, you help them. Try to keep them from making mistakes. Special, huh? If I'm out of line, just say the word. You're not out of line, Caden. But there are regs. I get you, Shepard. I don't make a habit of complicating the chain of command. Just think about what I said. What's your opinion on the last mission? Dr. Tassoni. She seems mm. nice enough. I mean, if you like the bookish sort. We'll talk later, Caden. I'd like that. <laughs> 